Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect to do it on the lot, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. It's, uh, it's, this, is pro this is, I think, the most original lot still in, uh, still in Hollywood. The buildings and the layout are so much more intact than they are at El uh, anywhere else. They shot it right over there. They mixed it right in that room, and they rehearsed it and wrote it right over there. Magic place. I think there was some uh, alchemy, some magic that was found in um, in uh, Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke and Glennis Johns and all the others, and also the music that the the songs still bounce right through your ear and into the head. They stay there forever. I think everybody was just working at the absolute top of the game and captured a moment that uh, the truly great films do, and, and that's why it's the classic that uh, that endures. The first things I did once the the process began was, well, we'd like you to sit down and spend a couple of hours with Richard Sherman. And so just over sandwiches and coffee, oh my God, it was just one anecdote after the another. And I can't tell you how many of them made it into the, the, the movie itself and uh, a number of them into uh, what I wanted to do in the, in the course of uh, shooting the movie. He, uh, uh, you know, his affection for the place and the time is so enduring and, and it carries the weight of decades, not just this one individual experience, which was probably the best he had when he was here, but it's just one of many magnificent moments in his life. And I think it was, a, it, I think we all enjoyed seeing how special it was for him. And there he is. And there he is, there that's is. right. <laughs> I think it's amazing that in a rehearsal hall atmosphere with just a, just a single piano, the, uh, the special feeling of a uh, musical number like Let's Go Fly a Kite is still very vivid and very tactile. Uh, when I saw it, they, uh, you know, I got goosebumps and uh, I got a big smile on my face. And that it can come out of a combination of both the memories of the film itself, but also the creative process that we re you know, reimagined and, and, uh, and created. But it totally captures uh, the specialness of what was a, a very special time for uh, for in the in the making of uh, of this uh, of this this classic moon, moon picture, I just can't tell you what a pleasure it is to introduce the director of our film, John Lee Hancock. Thank you. Alan. Thanks, Alan, um, and thanks to Disney uh, for putting on this great event tonight. Playing the one and only Walt Disney, Tom Hanks. And the only person to ever say no to Walt Disney and said it for 20 years, Neil Travers, as played by Emma Thompson. Thank you so much, Mr. Director, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there are um, many, many, um, well, nice things about being actors. One is, of course, one gets a chance not to be oneself for portions of time, which is a great relief to me anyway, and must, God knows, be a relief to the most of you. Um, <laughs> no, we got on very well. Uh, uh, but one of the great perks is that you get to meet a lot of other actors and artists and producers and directors and writers um, who you admire. And one has so many reactions, I find. It's a, you're so much smaller, or um, you're bigger, or you're terribly attractive. Um, are you available? Um, was I ever married to you? Um, there are so many reactions. Um, but... Uh, the reaction that I had to the two people I'm about to introduce you was this. It was as if an invisible hand had reached into my body and strummed a chord, a universal and ancient human emotional chord that spoke of love and joy and hope and kindness and compassion. So, ladies and gentlemen, please prepare your heartstrings for Mr. Dick Van Dyke and Miss Julie Andrews. <laughs> Enjoy 
Now I think we are, I've got to say something, haven't I? We've got to watch this thing now. <laughs> well, we obviously, you could all go out for a drink. Yes, let's take our shoes off right now. I'm doing it. <laughs> That's enough of that. All right, all right, here we go. Enough with the professionalism. Oh. 